Hi everyone, welcome to my Sherline studio. I'm Subo Mustrick. Behind the camera is Joshua Blog. Now today we're going to attempt a snippet, uh, just a little study. Uh, the other day we were having dessert and I made some cream puffs and uh, we had it with whipping cream and strawberries. So I thought strawberries and it's, you know, they're so luscious and uh, it's the season right now. So just a little strawberry study. Now uh, we'll work with botanicals. We're working with our oil-based printmaking inks. Okay, so here I have a uh, one of the pieces I've done already. And uh, you can, you know, vary the tone quite a bit. We'll be actually painting on this background and then flipping it to the print. Uh, so it's gonna be a back and forth kind of situation. Okay, so we have uh, my paints here ready to go. Uh, these are our speedball, um, these are oil-based printing inks. Also some Daniel Smith. We probably need a little bit of um, transparent medium. We'll just put it down here. Already have some burnt plate oil. That's just linseed oil that's been treated. So we'll start mixing. And uh, we want a nice uh, background uh, greeny blue tone. So we'll use some phthalo. It's very intense. I've just put a little yellow extra on the side just for mixing the the green so we're not contaminating it later when we go into our reds. So this needs a bit of um, rolling out. If you're working with a big piece then you need a big slab but we're you you know only using an 8x10 gel plate. Add a little bit more yellow. So here we're now this becomes very transparent and you know you've got the right color when uh, it doesn't uh, snick like a wet snick it sort of snicks like a dry snick <laughs> when you're ready <laughs> i know it sounds silly but it's put the way it is with printmaking okay so I have registered uh, my paper and it's going to be flipping back and forth. I have a stencil here and little masks, uh, the strawberry masks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull that off and hopefully our strawberries will stay behind. And we'll do our first color pass. Okay, keep that out of harm's way. And the strawberries will stay put. Nice thing about the gel plate. You get the intensity of the color from the color of the strawberries. dark here. Then we're going to place our strawberry leaves. They're drying out a bit so they're not behaving very well. And 
We're just going to place these at random the way nature does it. But it'll, it'll be in such a way that it creates a bit of motion, a bit of movement. This whole composition is sort of uh, lively. Try not to touch the plate when you're doing this because that every mark will print. Push the leaves in quite uh, strongly because you want the veins to show up. On the second pass, we're going to see if we can pick up the color of the veins. Okay. And we'll put a little but in there and then maybe in a few other places and hope they show up okay our first print oh <laughs> oh i nearly forgot <laughs> we got to take these off right Josh reminded me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, now we print. Okay. And then we take the rest of the leaves off. Just to make sure we get all the details of the veins. Okay. Yes, okay, that, some of that came through. Okay, now we go back to our stencil. And we make sure we place it in such a way. Now we tape it. And then we carefully position it back this is to help register everything. And just do this slowly so that it doesn't buckle. Now it should go right back in position and stick it down. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready for our strawberry colors. So I'm just taking the tape off that we used to attach the little stencil back on the plate to make sure it's in registration. Now we're going to roll out some of the red. the yellow I'll use my painting knife for that so we'll do a yellow orange pass first now we're getting that sticky wet sound so we need to roll it just a little bit more you can you can see how um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up but that's just a little bit too wet still, so almost. That's better. Okay, so we're just going to roll out. A little bit more 
of the orange. And lots and lots of yellow. You yeah, might even scrape this off. Put it back up here. Just add lots of yellow. Maybe even even more here. The yellow doesn't seem to have a lot of um, intensity. All right. There we go. So our light's coming from this side, actually, from the left. But because prints reverse, we got to do the yellow on the other side. Okay. And let's just put the green in for the, um, the leaves quick. We'll add a fair bit more of yellow. Just use this patch here. And we'll see how intense they, we might have to paint the strawberries a bit more. off. Now if we need to put the stencil back uh, we can see it now so it shouldn't be a worry if we need to intensify the strawberries some more and we'll see if our registration has worked. <laughs> Sometimes there's an art in taping you know. <laughs> has to be just right. All right. Okay, we could do a little more intensity. So we place that. And this time it'll be easy. So we'll go to this deeper red. And we'll just increase our intensity a bit. And I'm going to add some burnt plate oil because it will it's a little bit more like a watercolor than and it will increase yeah, that's better the color Now the first time I did this print, um, <laughs> everything worked perfectly. So of course it figures that you have to struggle for the next one. Right. Well that's looking a bit better, okay. Again, carefully. Okay, so much nicer. Perfect. Okay, we'll leave it at that and uh, now we're going to paint our leaves. And this is where we go doing this back and forth thing. Now we're going to add a little bit of the yellow. We want the leaves to stand back from the foreground, which is bluish.
and we're going to add a fair amount of um, burnt plate oil. I'm hoping some of the details that uh, from the veins and things will show up. And there's a bit of a stem here. Some leaves here. And because you're doing brushwork here, uh, it will all look very painterly because they'll all be different, which is a nice thing. Isn't there a Beatles song, Strawberry Leaves Forever, or something? Strawberry <laughs> Fields. Fields, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, just touching up our leaves here. And then the last little touches are the little seeds. And you just want to dab here and there. Just take your time. You might have to put another cup of stems in. Make your little seeds very random. Now you can lift off any areas where the paint's blobbed. Maybe with a brush is better. And fix anything if you have a mind to. Little tails from the paint. Okay, then some of the little strawberries makes a bit of an orange here. Um, we've got a few little blossoms here. They show up here and there. I think we had one down here too. And 
then I think we'll attach the strawberries a little bit more. Especially this one. Just give yourself a little tail going off. You can add a bit of detail to the leaves if you've lost all your details. But they're quite impressionistic anyway, so it really doesn't matter that much. You can add a few little to the strawberry flowers. They have little green leaves. So you'll take your time uh, with all these details and really make it work for you. So I'm in a question as usual and it's just a tutorial. I'm not trying to create a really fantastic work of art. Okay, so now we print so that that part looks printerly. Painterly, printerly. <laughs> so it's a Back and forth kind of situation, yeah. So our seeds are a bit bigger. We'll take care of this blob. So keep your little spots really small and you won't come across this problem. And then take your brush like before. And just... And strawberries aren't perfect, you know, they all have little marks and spots and things, and we'll get rid of this. That's good. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you have it. Our uh, cute little strawberries and uh, a few little flowers and leaves. And a fairly easy um, print to do and lots of fun to do, of course. Just watch for your taping, that you tape that well. And, uh, of course, it can be done with acrylic and, uh, you know, lots of other mediums. Yeah, have fun with it. And, uh, as usual, take care of yourselves, take care of your families. Be kind to one another. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.